Initial forecasts by PricewaterhouseCoopers showed Nigeria was set to slide into recession by December last year, but government did not concede. By that time, the country had already registered negative per capita growth in successive quarters, meaning the economy was sliding into a recession. The closest admission came in May from the governor of the central bank. He had predicted Nigeria would head into a recession this month. But while conceding that Nigeria is technically in a recession, Finance Minister Kemi Adeoshu sought to calm nerves. She assured the Senate that the economy is in good hands and would use the $10 billion loan to steer the economy out of a recession. The minister seems to be a little bit confident, yet many of the policies of government are actually contradictory and they are working against uh, one another. So the uh, flotation of the Naira, the flexible Naira exchange, uh, given the fact again that, like, like I've said, the country is import dependent, is not going to aid uh, a quick recovery of the, uh, uh, of the economy. Uh, in fact, uh, part of the impact of that is uh, to throw the economy into a tailspin. Nigeria's monolithic economy has been severely battered by falling crude oil prices. 70% of the country's import revenue comes from crude oil exports, but over 60% of that has been wiped out. If we are going to stop the, the contraction of the economy and probably reverse it, we need quite a number of that. We need, businesses need to start to become productive again. Uh, businesses need to start opening up and expanding rather than contracting and shutting down. Uh, we need to reduce unemployment. It means that you know uh, the productive capacity of Nigerians need to be utilized. The government is already running the most ambitious budget in Nigeria's history, $30 billion, and a huge chunk of that has been allocated to capital expenditure. It's a strategy largely geared at stimulating activity in the economy, and the Buhari administration hopes that could reignite the economy. Kelechi Amekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria. In the meantime, Nigeria's budget minister, Udoma Udo Udoma, has expressed hope that the economy will pick up in the third quarter of 2016. We had a first quarter of negative growth. Uh, we're still waiting to get all the figures for the second quarter, uh, which has just ended in, in June. So we're still getting all the figures. The NBS you know, will be giving us all the figures. But if, as we suspect, the second uh, quarter is also negative, then of course, technically, you could say that we are in recession if those figures turn out uh, to be so. But even if we're not, uh, the situation in the economy right now is one that, of course, uh, we are addressing. Let's figure out exactly where Nigeria goes from here. Deji Badmus joins us now live from Lagos with more data. Uh, Deji, the IMF has forecast a contraction of nearly 2% this year. The budget minister, however, has some interesting numbers. He's forecasting growth of over 3% for 2016. What's the basis of that forecast? Well, first of all, Rama, I'm not so sure the minister actually mentioned the figure. Um, he actually said, well, that um, Nigeria will definitely move into a positive territory by the end of the year. Now, in terms of why he tends to sound positive, it's, um, well, quite clear. And part of the reason is just because, uh, as Kelechi pointed out in her piece, the government now plans to borrow around $10 billion. So wh what the government plans to do is to spend its way out of this recession. So it's now planning to borrow around $10 billion. Uh, now uh, that we expect, that according to the finance minister, uh, the borrowing will start in the third quarter. And besides, we're beginning to see some kind of improvement in tax collection. As a matter of fact, um, just yesterday, the money that was shared between the central government and the 36 states of the federation actually increased for the first time in about three or four months. As a matter of fact, uh, they shared around $1.8 billion. It's been a while now they shared that amount of money. So if you have money coming in like that, there's no question at all that this economy will get back on track. Uh, workers, for instance, who have been owed will be paid. And uh, then uh, the, the budget minister also said, you know, impute from the agricultural sector 
is beginning to rise. So these are the pictures that um, the government is looking at, that the minister is actually looking at and uh, believes that when everything falls into place, by the time the loan comes in, you know, uh, tax collection improves, and uh, if the government is able to resolve um, its differences now with uh, militants in the Niger Delta region, it's very positive it would be able to do that, then uh, we would begin to see some kind of growth. And um, the budget minister making it very clear that by the fourth quarter of uh, this year, we would definitely see um, a, a positive uh, a, a growth. Rama? Uh, let's dig deeper into those revenue numbers that you just mentioned. First quarter revenues were... 55% of target. So what sort of leading indicators are we looking at right now that point to what second quarter numbers uh, and second quarter revenue performance might be like? Well, there's no question at all that, uh, you know, second quarter revenues will definitely be very bad. Just look at it. Put, put it this way. Uh, first is our production level, uh, oil production level has gone down. Uh, we've seen quite uh, a number of attacks by militants in the Niger Delta region. So um, revenues from oil ha has certainly gone down. We don't expect much. Uh, that, that is for sure. And, um, you know, manufacturing, too, in the second quarter actually went down as a result of uh, the crisis in the forex market. I mean, uh, we, we didn't have much of manufacturing take place in the second quarter. And, um, you know, in, in terms of non-oil export, nothing much happened also because of uh, the forex crisis. But now that that issue has been resolved, maybe we'll begin to see positive results now in, in the third quarter. But in terms of the second quarter, you look at the oil production levels going down, uh, earnings from oils definitely going down. And um, also, you look at uh, what we got from manufacturing, nothing to write home about. Uh, there's, there's no question at all that, um, you know, the second quarter revenue, if we're not careful, may even be worse than what we had in the first quarter. Indeed. We'll leave it there for the time being. Thank you for that. That's Deji Banwas live in Lagos.